We've been asking you to vote for your favourite Canadian Grand Prix and the results are in. 1999, the Wall of Champions year, 21%. 2007, the year Lewis Hamilton scored his first Grand Prix win, 27%. And 2011, with Jensen Button taking the lead on the last lap from Sebastian Vettel, 52%. Let's have a look now at the highlights from that amazing race. On race day, heavy rain clouds saturated the circuit Gilles Villeneuve. Once the safety car had pulled in, Alonso pushed Vettel to the limit. Sebastian defended brilliantly. Behind them, there were incidents of plenty. Lewis, having left the road for a second time, now rejoined behind Jensen. He had the momentum as they left the last chicane. He pulled left to seize the inside run into turn one, but Jensen inadvertently squeezed his teammate into the wall. Lewis was out with broken rear suspension. Jensen stopped immediately to switch to intermediates, while a disappointed Lewis could do nothing but watch the safety car again being redeployed. Jensen's woes continued with a stop-go penalty for making up ground too quickly in safety car conditions. That dropped him way back to 15th place. With Vettel pulling away at the restart, it seemed that McLaren's day had slipped from very bad to even worse. The focus in the main at this stage of the race was on the choice between intermediates or wets and on the huge storm clouds fast approaching. Then more drama. The race was suspended for two hours on lap 26 as a thunderstorm pelted the circuit. Drivers tried to remain focused. Crew members stared alternately at the clouds and at the ticking clocks. Formula One had never seen anything like this. With the storm finally abating, the race was again restarted behind the safety car. Sebastian still led, but a drying groove meant that there'd soon be another rush for intermediates and more incidents. Jensen and Fernando collided, bringing out yet another safety car. Fernando was out of the race, but Jensen, after puncturing a tyre, was at least able to rejoin, albeit back in last place. Even so, his McLaren still felt drivable and fast, and there are a few better drivers than Jensen in ever-changing semi-wet conditions. With Vettel still heading for what seemed to be an easy win, Jensen began slicing his way through the field, perfectly timing his switch to slicks and looking as the two-hour limit moved in like a driver who could, after all, finish fourth or perhaps even third. Not a bit of it. In one crushing lap, Jensen passed two of the best variable condition racing drivers of the modern era, Mark Webber and Michael Schumacher, and thus entered the field of perception of one Sebastian Vettel. All Sebastian had to do in Canada was continue to do what he was doing. As quickly as he'd caught him, Jensen was never going to pass Sebastian Vettel. Yet Jensen did. Too busy watching his mirrors, Sebastian made a critical error on the last lap, running wide into the damp section of the Montreal track. Jensen sliced through to score the win of his career and to establish this Canadian Grand Prix as one of the all-time classics. I think it just shows that you should never give up in this sport. Everything went wrong up until when I won the race. You know, it was a, a tough one. You know, crashing me teammate, you never want to do that. And then I crashed with Fernando as well. Puncher, drive through, almost got lap, was last twice. And you don't think it's going your way. And then suddenly you see the lap times compared to the others. The team's giving you, you know, the positive vibes and you're coming through the field and it's like, oh, this could happen. And then I had six, six corners to enjoy it, but it was the most nerve-wracking six corners of my life because, you know, everything's gone wrong. Suddenly it's all gone right and you don't want to throw it away. So you're very tense and also very emotional as well. Great memories there for Jensen Button after a superb win in Canada. Watch out for your next chance to vote for your favourite Austrian Grand Prix in the build-up to round eight of the Formula One World Championship.